Today we're going to look at the colour coding for ferrules. If you don't know what a ferrule is, check out our previous video, the link in the description below or in the eye above our heads. This issue of colours has caused us some grief in the last week, Gordon. It has caused us some grief, Gary, because we've been, we shot a fantastic video last week. We thought we had the colour code system nailed. And then uh, one of our German viewers, Simon Schertler, he pointed out that there's actually three systems. So we're going to run through the three systems. Okay. Um, so so we, we saw two systems before, one in France and one in Germany. You're now telling me there's a, a, a second German system. There is a second German system. It so was, there's the French or sometimes referred to as the telemechanique system. There's the German Wiedmuller system, and there's the German DIN system. So DIN is essentially, think of it as a German standards organization. So you've heard of DIN Rail, uh, and yeah, DIN come up with standards for all sorts of stuff, and there is a DIN standard for ferrules. <sighs> Confusing start already. To ease the confusion, however, eFix have produced this downloadable document. We'll put a download link in the description below so you can go to efix.co.uk and print off your three systems. Let's address those three systems next. Let's start with a French system. There's even confusion within the system, Gordon. Yeah, there's the, the, okay, so the French system tends to repeat some of the colours. Right. So there's the, the red and the black repeat. So you'll have a red at one mil and you'll have a red at 35 millimetres. Well, I don't think I'll get confused between the two. I don't think I'll be trying to put a one mil ferrule on a 35 mil cable, but they use the colours more than once. Okay. Yeah, that's the important thing. German uh, system, if we're in the Weedmuller. The Weedmuller system is pretty unique colours throughout the whole range. And I mean, that goes from 0.14, but there is a grey at 0.14 and there's a grey at 4. So again, you'd be challenged to, to confuse the two. But apart from that, the colours do not repeat themselves. And what size do they go up to? Um, well, our chart stops at 50 millimetres, but I'm, I'm reliably informed that ferrules go all the way up to 150 millimetres squared. So. And, and the new one that we didn't obviously talk about in our first video we did, this DIN system, do they repeat any of their colours? Uh, yeah, they were, well, yeah. is it new? I'd, I'd probably suggest that the DIN's probably the original one. It might, it may not be. Yes, so they repeat lots of colours, lots of times. <laughs> and as I look down here, red, yellow, blue keeps popping up. Red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. Yeah, old British face colours, Gary. Yeah. So there's confusions within the systems. So some colours repeat themselves, but when we're now looking in a panel and maybe trying to distinguish the actual system they used, adds another layer of confusion. Yeah, that, that is where the confusion comes in. Where would you like to start? What, what, what cross-sectional area are we going for first? Uh, well, let's pick one which has different colours in each system. So is there one? There, what? There, there is one. We'll go with the 075 millimetre cable. Um, so if I start in the French system, and there's a lot of colours and a lot of wires here. So in the French system, the 0.75 is a light blue colour. Yeah, okay. so that's a light blue. Got one here. I'll just, uh, I'll just crimp that up as we go. Okay, that's good. And like we said, all three of these are different. So that's, that's a good point to start. So if you're in a panel, you open it up and you're in a fortune position, maybe where there is 0.75 cables being used, you might be able to use that as your cross-reference point. Yeah, because obviously that's, so it's 0.75 in the French is the light blue. If you yep. step across into the German Wiedmuller system, it's white, so I've got one here. There okay, we go. I'll just put that one on there. Okay, good. And then if you then step into the German DIN standard, it's it's back to grey. Okay, it's grey. Take one out of this box. I do like a grey. I can see three at a glance down there already. Yeah, a few, few, few grey. Or platinum, I like to say. <laughs> Aaron, if I'm looking it, at my hair colour. Yeah, it's grey. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's brilliant. We've got three differing colours across three systems. Yep, yeah, hold on, give but me a chance to finish but this. But we know it's not going to be that simple as we... Yeah, we so there's the three. Yeah, okay, lovely. Three different systems, three Very different colours, three different systems. Brilliant. Nailed it. Let's muddy the waters a little. Where are we going next? Uh, we'll step up to, um, to one millimetre squared. One millimetre squared, okay. So, yeah, we're in a panel, we might be wiring one millimetre squared, stranded conductors, and I'm in a French system, what colour's my ferrule? It's red. Okay, it's red. Yep, and it's also red in the German DIN standard. Which we didn't know about until this nope, week. We, yeah, we didn't, okay, know, we didn't that know about until last week, week, did we, at all? So we, that's new to us. So red repeats itself there across the two systems. Unfortunately, though, it's, it's yellow in the Weedmuller system. So you've got two Germans with different colours. Ah, so, yeah, okay. So if you're in a panel, you open it up, you could be between the French system on red or the DIN system on red. Yeah, and it gets a little bit worse because in that Weedmuller system, yep. Okay, we've got yellow in uh, one mil. Yep. When we step up to 1.5 mil, it's Go. red. 
<laughs> so, so I'm now in a panel trying to distinguish between what we think are the two common systems, the ones we looked at first of all in a video no one's going to see anymore, between the French and the Reed Muller system. Yeah. French is one mil red, one five in the German system. Yeah. So you're now expected in that panel, if you were trying to distinguish between the two, to see the difference between a one and a one five mil cable. Yeah, it could be pretty tricky. Yeah, it could be tricky, really tricky. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the confusion repeats itself. Uh, again, so you step up to 1.5 in the uh, in the French system, it's black. Yeah. In the German Wiedmüller system, it's red, as we've said. Yeah. And then it's back to black in the DIN system. Take a deep breath. Okay, so what's your top tip then if we're going to be going with a, a feral system? I think you should invent your own, Gary. <laughs> I should invent well, if I was going to invent my own, I'd probably simplify it. We said there wouldn't be a fourth one. You've thrown that at me. Let's go for a fourth system. If I was going to choose a fourth system, perhaps I'd choose colours that I like. Maybe I'd choose simple colours, maybe only stick with three. I think three colours would be enough. I'd go with red, I'd go with white. I'll go with blue, so yeah. I think that's it. Very, very patriotic, Gary. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, French flag yeah. colours. Also the French flag colours as well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so joking aside, joking aside, the um, that system wouldn't work, okay? So we obviously got to work with these three systems. Um, what would you do? What's your piece of advice there for picking okay. a system? Well, either, if you've got a clear, you know, if you've never, if you've never worked on ferals before, pick a colour that you like. Pick, you know, if you like going to France on holiday, go, go to France. Or pick the Wiedmüller system uh, if, you, if you like going to Germany. I would suggest the Wiedmüller system from our research, and okay. someone might correct that is tends to be more widely used and more widely available okay. because there's that uh, less duplication in the in in the colours. Yeah. Um, where the equipment, you know, if you're working in a factory that's got a lot of equipment that's come from France. Yeah. Fair enough. Go with the French system. Same for, for for Germany. But you know what I would say is if you if you if you if you have to work on both systems, have a separate box. <laughs> have a separate box for each colour and keep them far apart. Trip and don't <laughs> yeah never ever it ever is a trip up with them. We could overcome it, can we, and move away from the actual shouldered ferrule for our own system. Yeah, so we can move away with the shouldered ferrule. We could go with the plain ferrule, can we? You could, and, and we'll look at that in, uh, in our next video. Uh, so we're going to look at different types of ferrules. So we're going to look at singles and doubles and the uninsulated, where you use them, how you use them, and some top tips.